let's talk memoirs. Today we are going to go over three good memoirs written by dudes. <music> memoirs are a lot of fun to read. Sometimes they're a little bit self-aggrandizing, sometimes they're a little bit tedious, but a lot of times they're pretty reflective and honest. And so that's going to bring me to the first one that we're going to look at today in our list of three good memoirs written by dudes. So number one is Scar Tissue by my boyfriend, Anthony Kiedis. Okay, he's not really my boyfriend, but my sister and I have this long-running joke where um, we each claim him as our boyfriend because he's cute. So in Scar Tissue, Anthony Kiedis takes a pretty brutally honest look at himself, his life, his growing up, um, his addictions, and his, um, his struggle to steer clear of that. So he talks about hitting it big with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He talks about his many, many conquests with women. He talks about his slide in and out of drug addiction and back in again and back out again. It's just really good. Number two, Choose Your Own Autobiography by Neil Patrick Harris, the NPH from Him Yim, How I Met Your Mother. He plays Barney on it. Neil Patrick Harris is a character and he is a hoot and a half. He of course narrates, I listened to the audiobook version of this and so he of course narrates his own life story and again he is um, He's honest about the people he's worked with on his career path. For example, Dustin Diamond was a miserable person to work with. Naomi Watts was ridiculously talented when he co-starred with her in a TV movie years and years ago. He names names, so it's a lot of fun. He talks about his magic too. He even does a magic trick through the pages of his book, which is very strange and interesting. Neil Patrick Harris also narrates some other books, for example, The Bro Code, and it's a lot of fun too. He didn't write that one, it's not a memoir, but I'm just throwing it out there if he needs something else by the great NPH. Number three is I Must Say by Martin Short. This is one of my favorite all-time books and it just makes me an even bigger fan of Martin Short than I already was, if that's even possible. Martin Short goes through his entire lead up to the comedy great that he is now. He talks about the days when he was um, struggling and trying to get a name for himself, working with other great comedians such as Gilda Radner. It's so good! And if you listen to the audiobook version of that, another bonus is that Martin Short will break out into his different characters from time to time. So I know I've mentioned this book before on three good audiobooks, but I love it so much. I love it so much that I'm mentioning it again now because that's how much I believe in it and how much I believe that you should listen to it. Martin Short may be short in stature, but he is tall in talent. <laughs> So, three good memoirs written by dudes. Let me know if you have any recommendations to add to the list because, of course, as I always say, I'm always looking for new book reading ideas. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Bye.